Hey guys, it's your boy Jack and I'm back from another video today. If y'all can ask you for the title of the video, I'm here with what's it like being a dropout. All right, so basically, if y'all do not know, I am a dropout. Well, not a dropout, taking a gap semester, maybe a gap year. And if y'all have not seen the, I think it's called the I'm Dropping Out video, here it is, check it out. And basically, that just basically explained why I was dropping out and all that stuff, or taking a gap. Let me stop saying dropping out. I'm taking a gap. I'm just either taking a gap year maybe years but who knows with all that being said i'm gonna talk about how life has been ever since i decided to take a gap first things first let's talk about family and stuff like that so i am be honest my sister is the only person that's been supporting me with my decision to stop going to school she was basically like i know you're gonna do big things i know you have a plan you know all that stuff and yeah i felt like that was the only real support that i had and yeah, my parents, I'm gonna be honest, um, it took them a while to like really comprehend that what was going on. And when they did, my dad was like, oh, you're a bad son, you're not listening to me. My mom was like, my one wish is to see you graduate college, all that stuff like that. They were just trying to guilt trip me and all that. But like, I know they don't mean anything wrong. Like me and my dad, they didn't have an argument, we were just talking, he was like, oh, you need a college degree to go get a job. And I was just like, no, I can just work full time now. And he was like, oh, you're too young, you don't, you don't get it. And I was like, no, you're too old, you don't get it. So it's just stuff like that. And has that affected me? Probably, because like, it's your parents. You're gonna, it, you're gonna be affected by what they say and stuff like that. Especially if it's like, oh, you're being a bad son and trying to guilt trip me because I'm not, I don't wanna be in school right now. But with all that being said, it's just that like, it's my choice and I'm gonna kinda refresh on why I didn't want to be in school or go to school. It's just cause like, first things first, I was an entertainment and media major and I wanna go into the entertainment industry, um, stuff like that. And I just feel like you don't need a degree to get there. Like will a degree help? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I just feel like, sometimes I feel like college is a scam and all they do is just want your money and that's one of the big reasons and another one was just that like i don't know if i told y'all this story but basically last semester um i i sat there and i i tried i tried my hardest to understand everything uh, with every like most of my classes being online all that stuff i tried my hardest to actually do good in this class i sat there for the full two hours taking this test and i ended up getting a 42 or something like that and i, I felt just so i felt so stupid I, I felt dumb i was just like I don't know the school things for me because like I sat there and I actually tried and I still failed and I was just like I don't know this school thing ain't for me and for me I just feel like you don't need a college degree to be successful because I went around and asked all my co-workers who are older who have been to college or haven't been to college and it was just like stuff like that and a lot of them told me that no you don't need a college degree to be successful and it's my life and I'm gonna do what I'm doing. And for me, my mindset is just that like school is always going to be there. You know what I mean? Here's what I'm gonna say now. I'm going to give myself a time period from now to maybe 25-ish. If I am not successful, if I don't have six figures, if I don't have 100K subscribers on YouTube, um, I will go back to school and finish. And for now, I'm just gonna stay working full time and making videos and all that fun stuff. I will say the nice thing about not going to school though is just that I feel like there's a lot more stress off my shoulders. I don't have to like come home from work and be like, oh, I gotta finish this assignment. I gotta do this for school. I feel like that has been a big help. And also I just feel like my time isn't being wasted because like, I'm not gonna lie, I felt like my time was being wasted in classes. I was probably just taking all those general classes that we all had to take and that was probably boring because I wanted to go into like my major stuff, but then, then again, like and stuff that I was learning in my classes for my major were still boring, you know? So I just felt like it was just a waste of time. And I felt like I wasn't really learning, especially with COVID and everything being online. Like, let's be real, everyone's been cheating. Don't stop the cap, like, <laughs> you know? So I just felt like there was no point because I'm not learning. And some people might say I'm stupid for this, but I like, I was going to college for free. I'm not gonna lie, I was. And I'm doing a big opportunity away, but it's just, it's my life and I just feel like, I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, I've been having a lot of second thoughts, I've been, lately I have been getting a lot of second thoughts, I'm just like, maybe I should go back, but I'm just like, I have to stay true to me, and like, if I'm being completely honest, I don't care if I graduate again, I don't ever care if I will ever graduate again, I don't say, I graduated high school, I'm tired of that, 
and if I need to go back to college, I will. But just right now, I just feel like, just get there. I want to get to where I want to be. I want to not worry about money. I want to just be able to be me, and people love me for being me. You know what I mean? Like, that's just the way I want to get. That's the way I want to be. I will say a downside of not being in classes or going to college anymore is that the social aspect is definitely gone. Like, I'm be honest, like, my friend told me this, like, all the friends that you meet your freshman year, you most likely ain't gonna talk to after that year, and that's kind of true. So for me, it's just that I only have, like, the small group of friends that I had that I made for freshman year that I still actually talk to, and other than that, I have no one else. <laughs> like, other than my roommates, too, it's just that I really don't have that many friends, but it'd be like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying, but it's just that, that social aspect is gone. But stay tuned, and plus, I think COVID also played a big factor with the social aspect but I'm doing my best I'm still trying to make friends and all that good stuff and the best thing I can say is just be true to you stay just be who you are like don't change up for no one and if people don't like you for you then it's their loss now we also said working full-time at this age I am learning a lot about how to communicate with different co-workers how to work with different people and because like when you when you work and you work in like retail food you always are gonna experience the bad workers, the bad managers, all that fun stuff. So let me know down below if y'all ever had a bad experience at work and let me know down below if you want me to tell some stories of my work experiences because I think I got a couple of them that I could share with y'all. And honestly, I'm trying to just save money, keep doing YouTube and stay tuned because I haven't told anyone this, but I have been working on my gaming channel so stay tuned you know stay tuned because I want to get back into gaming because I've been playing a lot of gaming in my free time and it's why not just record it while I play you know what I mean if I'm playing it why not record it and play and also I'm going to say this about Kennesaw State University honestly I felt like I made the wrong decision choosing to go to this school you know nothing wrong with the school nothing like I don't know I just felt like this was the wrong place for me that's that's how I feel um, so I'm gonna say when it comes to college decision making, make sure y'all take some visits, make sure y'all know that's the place you want to be, that's the place where you belong. For me at Kennesaw, I thought it was, but in reality, no, not really. I am happy for everything though, because everything does happen for a reason, so I wouldn't be here where I'm at if I didn't choose to come to Kennesaw. I think one big advice for me is that, um, it's hard to find genuine people, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people will only mess with you or hang out with you if they get something from you. And that's the sad reality of it. That's just how friendships are now. But I'm just like, it's for me, it's hard to find genuine people and hard to find genuine good friends. So that's why I'm happy for the ones that I do have. With all that being said, that was probably one of the biggest things I hated about Kennesaw because there's just so much fakeness. And I was just like, dang, that sucks. Cause like, I'm gonna be honest, all them people that like, all them friends I made my freshman year, none of them talked to me. Oh, here's a prime example. Me and my boy Jeremiah, we had the same math class. And he like, he was the smallest guy in that class, no cap. He was legit like giving answers to everyone in the class cause we had the group me and all that stuff. And after that semester ended, no one talked to him or me anymore. It was just like legit. The all they did was just use him to get get do the class, get a B, get an A, whatever. And after that, no one talked to him. Like this man, Jeremiah, invited people from that class over to his apartment to study, to hang out, and all that stuff. He even offered them food, drinks, all that, all that good stuff. And what they do after the semester ended, never talk to Jeremiah again. But it'd be like that. It'd be like that. I will say also, be careful who y'all make friends with. All right. So to conclude this video, after about two months. I think two months of 2021, um, the things that I've learned about not being in school no more, because I was in school last semester, but not anymore, was that just basically do what makes you happy. You have to make sure you're happy. Don't ever overlook your mental health. And if y'all are ever going through anything, just hit me up and I'm, I'm here for you because I, I know how mental health is. Mental health is very overlooked and that's something I wish would be more, um, not recognized, but more, not absurd. I don't know what word I'm looking for, but it was just like, like, I just wish it was more talked about than what it is, you know what I mean? I just feel like people tend to put aside their happiness to make other people happy, and that does not help. You need to make sure you're always happy. So that's the one thing I've been doing since college, since dropping out, since taking a gap, 
whatever. I've just been making sure I've been happy. I've I've been cutting off a lot of people that, you know, in my life were they said they were close friends, but they really weren't. You know, just fake. And I'm just like, I ain't about that no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm 20 years old now. I'm growing. Um, I got things to do. I got things to achieve. You know, I have I have big dreams. You know what I'm saying? So and yeah, that's basically it. I feel like I have nothing else to say. I feel like that's how my life has been after dropping out, taking a gap, whatever. I just feel like I've been chilling. Just make sure you're happy. Oh, I'm gonna end things on this. All right, so my best advice I can give to anyone um, who's in the same situation as me, who wants to take a gap, wants to drop out, whatever, all I gotta say is that if you have a plan or you know what, exactly what you're gonna do, like basically, yeah, basically, if you have a plan and you know what you are going to do, if you're gonna take a gap, drop out, Go for it. That's what I'm saying. Go for it. Would you like do that? Because I know if you don't do it, you're gonna regret. Like, dang, I wish I did that. So I want y'all to live without a life without regret. You know what I mean? So if y'all have a plan, go for it. If y'all don't have a plan, stay in school until you figure out a plan. Because there's no point. You know what I'm saying? There's no like, don't just drop out to drop out to just play video games and not do anything. If you finna drop out, make sure you have a plan. You got a job. You you have big dreams or whatever, and you're trying to actually achieve it. But I feel like that's a good way to conclude the video. And with that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, shout out.